dear students and learners i hope everyone is doing great today i would like to teach you one of the cryptographic technique that is called the playfair cipher by the way i am professor raj let us go into the video material okay playfair cipher technique what i have done here is i have listed out alphabetics that is starting from a to z and i have given 0 to 25 as a value for each of the characters whenever you do any of the techniques better you have this particular list so it is easy for you to cross check and for the references as well okay before going into this uh, practical what i am going to show is here two images so two people are responsible for introducing this uh, technique uh, Charles Wheatstone he is the person who invented this Playfair cipher technique and he described how this technique works in the year of 1854 but it was not uh, uh, accepted by many people and not uh, put up in practice and in the later stage Lord Playfair is another person who heavily promoted this particular technique in use. So that is why later stage it is called as Playfair Cipher. Okay, now we will go into the actual technique. And here uh, we have a plain text that is give a punch and a key occurrence. So using the key, we have to create a key matrix. The key matrix is 5 into 5 key matrix. That is 5 rows, 5 rows and 5 columns. Okay. Then we need to have these 3 rules for encryption and for decryption. While doing the decryption, it is very simple. We have to reverse all the uh, rules, just like that. Okay, let us go into the actual practice. Now, what you have to do is, the first step is, you have to create the key matrix with the help of the key. You can take any of the keys, it's not a matter, but I have taken occurrence some repeated uh, characters are there so that you will able to apply all the three rules okay first what we have to do is each of this character this occurrence character we have to fill it one by one in the key matrix when you find one of the key i mean one of the character is repeated then you have to ignore that means you have to fill for only one time for example, look, O, then C, and again there is C, okay? So do not repeat. So the next character is U, and the next character is R. Again, R is repeating, so ignore it. Okay, then the next character is E, and the next character is N, and finally we have C and E. C is already there. So ignore it and E is also there, ignore it. Okay. Okay, now what you have to do is after filling the entire characters of the key, after immediately from the next cell onwards, you have to fill A to Z. But same concept, while you are filling, you will encounter these characters. So you should not repeat it. Okay, let me proceed. A, B, then C. C is already there, so don't repeat. Then D, then E. E is already there, so ignore it. Then F, then G, H, I, bar J. Okay, here you have to ask a question. Why we are putting I and J together? It's a simple thing that is uh, you have a alphabetics of 26 
but actually you can fill only 25 alphabetic so one of the cell should contain two characters so that you can fill it fully okay supposing in the key key i and j are present so that means i and j will be placed in a different cell in this case you have to ignore one of the character usually q will be ignored okay so it, it is not a matter that you have to ignore always q you can ignore any other characters okay let us proceed after i and j uh, we have uh, k l yam n we cannot because n is already present in the k matrix so leave it and next is o o is also present so ignore it then p then q then r comes r is already present in the key ignore it and then yes then t then u u is also present in the key so ignore it then v then w then x then y finally z fine so you have done it perfectly okay so supposing if you find that one or two characters are extra which you cannot fill in this matrix that means somewhere while filling you have done some mistakes okay right okay let us take the plain text the second step step 2 what you have to do is the plain text contains certain words maybe a short sentences fine among these words and sentences what you have to do is you have to make a pair pair of characters that is the second step you have to do and then we will apply the encryption rules okay so the plain text is given here give a punch so what I am doing is G I taking as a pair so the next characters are V and E the next character is A and P the next is U and C the final characters C and H so split the uh, characters like this make it a pair okay of the entire sentence and then we have to find the cipher text cipher cipher text okay I will put the cipher text here fine so now we will apply the rules the rule says the first rule is if the pair of letters presented in the same column then find the letter below that equals to plain text okay that replaces okay replaces plain text so look at G and I that is the first pair look where is G G is here and I is here so which rule we are going to apply so both the characters are available in the same row so look at this third rule says that if the pair of letters presented in the same row then find the letters immediate to the right and select that letter okay so look at this G and I are placed in the same row so for G we have to take the immediate right side character okay immediate right side character is H so for G I am replacing as H so similarly for I the immediate right character is K so I am replacing K for I okay the next is okay let me write separately so that you will understand clearly okay so the next uh, pair is V and E where is V? V is here and E is here look at the second uh, encryption uh, rules if the pairs of letters presented in different row and different column make a rectangle box which includes the letters 
then take the opposite letter at the end of the rectangle box. So E is here which is in this column or in this row you can say. Similarly E is here in this column or in this row. So what you have to do is from V make until E a square box. So let me put thick. Okay fine like this. Fine. And now you have to find for V you have to see the opposite end character of the rectangle. Okay, end character is Z. So for V, put Z. Okay, similarly, for E, the opposite end character is until the square box only. So O. Okay, I am placing separately O. Okay, this two are done. Okay, next one is A and P. A is here and P is here. So that means it appears in the same column. So first rules you will be applying. So first, first rule says that if it is available in the same column then find the letter below that replaces the plain text. Immediate below. Okay, immediate below. So it says A and P, right? Okay, for A immediate below character is H. So replace that yes, H. Okay, the next is P. P is also present in the same column. So for P, immediate below character that is W. Okay. The next is U and N. Where is U? U is here and N is here. Okay. So what you have to do? Same uh, rule that is rule number 2. From U until N, make it as a square box. Okay. Like this square box. Now we'll see. For U, you have to find the opposite end character of the rectangle. So opposite end is O. Similarly, for N, the end opposite end character that is B. So B. Fine. Last pair we have that is C and H. Where is C? C is here and H is here. So it is appeared in the same column. So first rule you are applying. So for C, the immediate below character is A. So A. For H, the immediate character below is P. That's it. So this is the cipher text equivalent to give a punch. Fine. That's it. So encryption has been done. Now we will do decryption using the cipher text. Take this cipher text as an input and then as usual what we did earlier that we have split it into pairs of letters. Similarly we have to do this and then we will find the decryption and we will get the answer as plain text. Okay. Step 3 I am putting. Okay, I am taking this ciphertext into input. H, K, Z and O. H, W, O and B. And finally A and P. Okay, let me find plain text. Okay, I will type it here. Okay, I am clearing the boxes. Fine. Okay, same procedure but everything you have to do reverse, especially for point uh, that is rule number 1 and 3. Rule number 2 remains the same. Okay, for H and K, where is H? H is here and K is here. So it appears in the same row. So same row while doing encryption it says immediate right but for decryption you have to identify the immediate left side. Okay. So for H, the immediate left side character is G. So put G. Okay, the next one is K. For K, the immediate left side character is I or J. If you put I, then you can find give, answer as give. But if you put J, then you can easily find out whether it's give or something else. Okay, so since we know the word, so I am taking I itself. 
Okay, next one is Z, Z and O. Where is Z? Z is here and O is here. So from Z make a square box until O. Okay, so you have to find out the opposite end character. So for Z it is V and for O it is E. Fine. Next one is H and W. H is here and W is here. So it appears in the same column. So first rules. So first rules at the time of encryption, the below character you have to find. But while doing the decryption, you have to find the above character. So for H, the above character is A. So put A. And for W, the above character for W, the above character is P. So I am putting P here. Okay. The next pair is O and B. O is here and B is here. So from O until B, make a square box and find out the opposite end character until this box only. Okay. O, O's opposite is U. So put U. And similarly for B, opposite end character is n so n so last pair is a and p a is present here and p is present here so it is in the same column so what it says same column means first rules you are applying so instead of below character you have to take the above character so for a the above character is c okay for p the above character is H. So H. Done. That's it. So you can see now G I G I V E. Then A. Then punch. Punch. Okay. So that you can able to see now. Okay, All right. That's it. This is how you can do encryption and decryption of Playfair cipher. Sometimes there might be a chance that your plain text will not have equivalent pairs. Say for example, world. Okay. W O then R L and then D is alone. So in this situation, what you have to do is introduce any one dummy character which will not give any meaning okay while you do the decryption okay usually x can be used just as a dummy character or you can use any character it's not a matter z or b or e anything usually if we address a person without a name we say mr x right so similarly so generally people uses ex to denote a dummy or unknown characters okay fine so the ultimate point here is in Playfair cipher the plain text should be divided into multiple pairs of characters and then you have to use the key key can be any words okay any sentences also it doesn't matter and using this key only you have to make a key matrix and while doing the key matrix you should not repeat any characters of the key and also when you are applying A to Z there also you should not repeat and finally you have to follow the three rules for encryption the same rule you will reverse it at the time of doing decryption that's it I hope you enjoyed this video Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you again in another video.